Hi, and hello again. I'm Brian Jones, Factory Manager of the Year, and this is another one of my leadership tips of the day. And today's subject is unions. And anybody that knows anything about business knows you have a management team and you have the union. And there's this myth that the two are completely opposed, don't get on, have different views, different opinions, and when the two meet, all you are going to get is problems and potentially warfare. Um, but this is an unhealthy relationship, and actually the union relationship is one of the single most important relationships that you need to work on, you need to develop, and you need to build as a leader. Because when you break it down and you look at what both parties are interested in, you've got an awful lot in common. You've actually got a number of common goals that if you work collectively on together, then you are going to make your workforce, your factory, your environment so much better for all. And you will create a positive team culture. Now, that's not easy to do because um, there tends to be at times a lot of distrust whether that be management distrusting the union or vice versa. Uh, but I think it's important to know this. It doesn't matter how engaging you are as a manager or as a leader, your workforce will always, always trust the union more than they trust you. And that's not because you're not trustworthy. It's because the union are there solely to look after the workforce, their members, their terms and conditions, and they will fight tooth and nail to keep those. So naturally, the workforce are going to gravitate towards the union. So if you dismiss the union, and, and if you choose to not engage with them, if you choose not to build a healthy relationship with them, it will be to the detriment of your leadership and the detriment of your performance as well. So routine meetings with the unions are very, very important, but actually get to know the individuals as well. Find out what makes them tick, what it is that they prioritize, what are, what's important to them. You know, get into the heart and soul and the mind of your union and work to build that relationship, but also show them more of you, demonstrate that you are a human being demonstrate to them that you actually have the interests of the workforce at heart. Um, because when I talked about common goals, the union want what they think is best for their workforce. A manager and a leader should also want what they think is best for the workforce. Now, okay, a management team or a leadership team have to deliver results as well but that should never be to the detriment of the workforce. And if it is, then you're doing something wrong. And the other thing to know is a union can make your life so difficult, they can stop you in your tracks, uh, they can take up an awful lot of your time, they can take up an awful lot of your resource if you don't respect them, if you don't value them, and if you don't build that relationship. So really work hard on getting to know your union chief shop steward, union convener, union representatives, and work hard on that relationship. Make sure the communication in that relationship is free-flowing, it's two-way, and it's constant and positive. And I can't say any more than that. That's my tip for today. Thank you very much. Catch you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.